Hello. Hi, welcome to Thrive Psychology Clinic. I'm Jaslyn and I'm the co-founder of this clinic. I'm a developmental psychologist and a certified hypnotherapist. And I'm Kieran, an associate psychologist and certified clinical hypnotherapist. I'm also the clinic manager here. Nice to meet both of you. And wow, both of you are hypnotherapists. Does that mean that you can hypnotize anyone at any time and control them? Mm, no, it is a myth that hypnotherapy can be used to control other people's mind. Um, in fact, hypnosis is used to induce a state of relaxation, uh, allowing clients to be more uh, open to beneficial suggestions and ultimately helping them to achieve their therapeutic goals. I see, that's interesting. So, can you tell me more about Thrive Psychology Clinic? Yeah, sure. At Tri Psychology Clinic, we aim to be the forefront of Singapore's mental health industry by providing comprehensive mental health support and cultivating mental wellness. Um, other than that, we also provide therapeutic services. We also conduct workshops and programs for both children and adults where we aim to equip them with relevant skills and knowledge to thrive in life. Well, so... How do we cultivate mental wellness? A survey conducted showed that most Singaporeans believe that mental health problems occur due to the lack of willpower or discipline. Is that true? Well, it is unfortunate that um, such stigma exists. In fact, uh, mental illnesses occur due to various biological and social uh, reasons. And at times, it is beyond an individual's control. Thus, we urge everyone who is facing difficulties to seek help. Many individuals have gotten well after seeking treatment. But actually, can psychology be considered a real science? After all, it seems that psychologists normally just listen to people. Well, all psychology research um, follows strict scientific methodology. Moreover, psychologists don't just sit and listen to people talk. Instead, we use specific met, uh, modalities and techniques that have been proven to be effective by years and years of research. That's interesting. So, for those individuals interested in seeking help, how do you advise them to go about doing it? Well, uh, typically before proceeding with therapy, we'll uh, have an initial consultation with clients to gain a better understanding of their situation and uh, needs. Uh, right in this room. From there on, uh, the clients and therapists will work together to create a therapy plan that is tailored to suit the specific needs of the client. Ah, I see. Thank you for explaining that. Now, can you show me some other rooms here at Thrive Psychology Clinic? Sure. Let me bring you to Grid Zone. This is Grid Zone, um, the room our behavioral therapists used to work with children who could be facing social, emotional or behavioural difficulties. Oh, so do you guys only work with children? No, although we are a children and adolescent based psychology clinic, we also work with adults, couples and elderly because of our collaborations with Mind Culture and the School of Positive Psychology. Now, let us show you the room we use for our counselling sessions. So this is our cosy serenity room. Wow, the view here is amazing! So, what other therapies does Trap Psychology Clinic offer? We offer a wide range of services including psychotherapy, behavioural therapy, neurocognitive therapy, as well as our latest service, virtual reality therapy. We are confident that we can offer individualised and effective treatment for each individual. Well, that's pretty cool! Okay, one last question. Are people with mental illness dangerous? Well, um, there are many types of mental disorder that may not be dangerous to others. Take for example depression or obsessive compulsive uh, behaviours. Uh, instead, these disorders are only dangerous to those who are suffering from it. What do you guys mean? For example, those suffering from depression may have suicide ideation. Um, although some of the individuals may be aggressive, such cases are actually rare and the concept that they are dangerous uh, is one that is often wrongly perpetuated by the media. So it is important for everyone to keep an open mind towards individuals with mental illnesses and lend a helping hand if they can. That is certainly a message that everyone needs to hear. 
Thank you so much for the tour and also for debunking some of the common myths we have about psychology. You're welcome back anytime. Bye-bye.